If this thing flames out, I am going to freak out. Dude, it's... Man, listen. I am... This is already exceeding my expectations. Guys, look at this. He's, wor he's working her slowly in. Look, this is already a safe a cruise. Look, listen. 15 miles an hour. We're going how fast? 15. Okay, so you're you're gonna go fast enough to it's make it home. 1.2 miles to the gallon, <laughs> just on the one end. Listen, this right here is huge. Now bring it down and just do open her up and show, and we can start heading back. Sure. I mean, I think with what we just showed, oh, that's that's huge. And and now now you guys know something. If somebody asks that question. Hey, listen, yeah, there you, go. Yeah, <laughs> you, you saw it for yourself. It's got a lot of torque, it'll get you in no problem on this size boat on one engine. You know, my, my audience loves this unscripted. Guys, this is, this, is, this is why we do what we do. Beautiful boat. I haven't really been on this 34 uh, Cape Horn, but I'm liking what I see. I mean, let me uh, let me put this down. Um, can we lower that music? Yeah, perfect. Cause we really can't have music. Yeah, yeah, I can't have it on there. So, all right. So, are you the captain that's going to be our captain? Yes, I am. My name is James Duncan. James, cool. Um, James, um, what do you know so far about this setup, and how long have you been running it? So, I actually did the initial testing on it. Um, back when we had it rigged out with 300 Suzuki's. Okay. So what I did was I took the boat out, we first rigged it with 300 Suzuki's. Okay. I ran it five times, five different days, um, and saved all my data. Mm -hmm. Then when we uh, rigged it out with the oxes, did the exact same trips over again. So okay. that's how we got our performance. So you're comparing it with other with other engines as well? Yes, or no? so we actually outfitted the boat with 300 Suzuki's initially. Oh, okay. Just to get a baseline figure. Wow. 300 horsepower. Okay, that's good. That's good information. Yeah. So, we got so what do we got? Here. So tell me, tell me what they're seeing. So we're seeing about 200% better fuel economy um, overall. But if you look here at around, let's see, the oxes, we're getting eight miles to the gallon. Sorry. No, no, eight, eight miles to the gallon. I'm buying this thing right now. Eight miles to the gallon at like just two engines in gear. Okay. At about five, six miles an hour, seven miles an hour, tuna troll speed, we're getting around five miles to the gallon. What? And then at cruise at around 32, 33 miles an hour. Is this legit? We're legit. getting we're getting two we're miles. We're gonna to see the it. We're gonna go out. Dude, wow, that's crazy, guys. All right, so diesel power. How how much diesel does uh, does this boat have on? Um, on board currently, we've got 182 gallons. So a lot of people that have mega yachts love the fact that you can have diesel, exactly because. You, you one want the same, yeah, one single fuel source, so you don't have to do a lot of paperwork when you're traveling to different countries sure. that require things. So for, for a tender, these ox diesels are, are beautiful. They really are. They really are. There's something else. And I mean, really for commercial and fishing applications too, you know, charter boats and, and stuff. Anywhere, anything where you're putting a lot of hours on the boat, that's really where you're going to see the best, you know, best savings out of this thing. Cool. Was, uh, Dude, don't, don't, don't let me stop. If you guys want to yeah. get the lines, let's, let's do this. Going. All right, guys, come on. We're going to get this going, guys. Now I've done a video on the twin 200 ox diesels in the past guys. If you want to see that video, I'll try to link it to the end of this video. But um, I'm, I'm interested to see exactly. I know I remember the torque that I felt. Nothing excites me more than having different options, right? I like the fact that we can have gas engines, that we can have... Yeah. He, he, right now, I don't think... No, I don't think we have it set. He was just asking if they're counter-rotating. I think okay. they're counter-rotating. They're counter-rotating. I think it is. Yeah, they're counter-rotating. So, so, so uh, like I was saying, is like gas option. Now we have diesel options. Soon we'll have electrical, electric, yeah. uh, electric outboards. Electric over diesel. 
Electric, electric diesel. Stuff. That's right. Uh, electric Probably. diesel. That's the future, I think. I think, that is the future. I think the future is electric diesel combination. Yeah, sort of a hybrid. Yes. Um, not that I know anything in particular, but you know, I I hear things. And we'll see where it goes. We'll yeah, I, I, goes, hear, I hear things. Listen, I I hear a lot of things. We're testing. <laughs> uh, you know, we're always testing new stuff too. So. Are we able to go? open it up a little bit in oh, yeah, some of these areas we are yeah i'm gonna drive it over here no yeah no no yeah the slow speed we don't have to worry about manatees over here do we? No, no not like in miami up. all right guys see when i don't cut the camera off there's no hiding anything. If there's smoke, they're gonna see smoke. Yeah. And they're not gonna see no smoke because there's I no smoke. See the smoke. There's no smoke. Can we run this thing on biodiesel? Uh. Smell like a French fry? <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah, hey, I'm yeah. sure, listen, it's diesel, why not? I'm sure people, listen, I'm sure somebody will be creative enough to run it on biodiesel. Absolutely. They'll go to McDonald's and, <laughs> and go get the extra fry oil. <laughs> That's funny, guys. Now that would be something, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be nice. So, yeah, what are, what are we what are we looking at top speed on this? Top end is about forty nine miles an hour now. Forty nine. So we're gonna hit forty nine. Forty nine miles an hour probably. We'll probably see forty six. Because I'm on the boat and I'm a little overweight. That and honestly, Thanks. I think this thing's faster in uh, in some rougher seas. I think once we get a little more air under the hull, you know, when it's flat calm like this and the boat's sticking down to the down to the water, mm -hmm. you know, you can't really break free. To get yourself really. So tell fast. me a little bit about this Cape Horn since you got some hours on it. What do you like about it? And this thing is great in rough sea. Really? It really handles the chop well. I mean, especially wet, a head wet sea. boat or no? No, that's not a wet boat. You know, really? It does a really good job of throwing it out. If you look in the bow, it's got um, it looks like a Fu Manchu mustache. If you look all the way up at, at the uh, very bottom, okay, like the chine. Okay. And uh, it does a really, really tremendous job of throwing the spray down. Actually, you can see it right here. And you know, while it's running, it just it really knocks it down. Um, I like the I, 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 I like the gunnels how how wide they are. They you could like throw you can walk the whole way. Yeah, you can throw a party on that thing. You could walk you can from throw a cast net off the bow very easily. I like that. Let me show let me show yeah, them that while we where we're cruising out of here, guys. This is Annapolis. It's a beautiful boat. Let me tell you, I have not walked this boat. You get a lot of value too. A lot of people like this particular brand, Cape Horn. So how long have these 300s already been out on the market? About a year and a half, I would oh, say. About a year and a half. Mm -hmm. so, Not really sure how many we've got in the country just yet. How many of these 300s we have out uh, yet? We sold 300s, I want to say six. So, so I know, I think they put, I think they put some on, uh, on LifeProof. I went to LifeProof in uh, Bremerton, Washington. Okay. And I saw, I don't know if it was the 300s or maybe the 200s. I am not sure. Uh, LifeProof in Washington, that extends our territory. So that would be one of our other Bre Brem Bremerton, yes. Yep. Um, oh, I felt that. You felt that? Yeah. He just touched, he just touched the throttle. Touched the throttle. You, you listen, I, you, I, you, I, I just felt, I just felt the torque. All you had to do was just touch it. Oh yeah, that's just. Just quick touch and boom, that torque. Let's wait until we get out there, James. So. Yeah. You're Don't want to get the uh, taxi people all mad. Now, yeah. so, okay, so uh, let's talk about, all right, we already know tender, uh, people that, that want, um, you know, for tenders and maybe for a mega yacht and all that stuff, same fuel source. Mm -hmm. But can you envision like tow companies like, Oh yeah, you know when we've got these on push barges already, the 200 uh, horsepower version. We've got really? Them, uh, like work, like work push barges. Um, I think we just did this really cool project. Where was that, Wisconsin? With the uh, the lake barge. They have this uh, this barge company out there in the Great Lakes where they've got uh, aluminum push barge with two 200s on it, and they come and they'll remove your floating dock for the winter. It's a, it's a uh -huh. single 200. It's a they single 200. Install That's what it is. and remove docks. Yes. In the Great Lakes. Wow. And, uh, yeah, those guys just finished building that thing. We helped them with that. There's a, uh, there's a uh, quite a few clam boats have them uh, down here in the you know Eastern Bay, Maryland. And the um, 200 was 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 a hit because they're they're not too too heavy. 
Like these are heavier, so yeah. so you would envision these on a, on a on a bigger boat, but but they had the first um, I think ox diesels that I did a video on was an inflatable. It was, I believe, it was a brig. A brig, yeah. that's right, uh, from the 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 people over there in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sirocco had, uh, Marine guys, Boyd. We had our own uh, inflatable for a while. We had a, a 150 on it. Uh huh. I think we had. I want to say 200 hours on it the, the summer we ran it, and our average fuel burn was two gallons per hour. It's it's amazing how it's amazing how I do a video and then I see the boat years later and I'm like, damn, I did a video on that boat. <laughs> so, um, what's the expected life um, hours the, on on a diesel like this, Captain? So, so the expected life, it's going to be similar to your inboard diesel. You oh. know, we don't have as many hours on it yet to say what we're seeing in the field but you should say six to ten thousand hours because you haven't had one die yet we have not had one die yet no <laughs> along the way were there things at, since they've been on the market now that you guys have modified uh, somewhat because it's a it's a bmw block right uh, the, the 300 is a bmw block the yeah. bmw so the, the 200 the 175 and the 150 the lower horsepower is used the two liter gm block but okay. the concept's the same. The only big difference is that the 300s from your uh, your coupling down to your gearbox is chain driven. On the 200s and below, that's actually a belt, and that belt is removable, and you could spin it 180 degrees and have two different ratios. You don't have that option uh, on the 300 here, uh, but the belt drive from the gearbox down to the lower unit is the same. Listen, um, this is, what did I tell you earlier? I go, there's, there's one of the things that excites me in this show in Annapolis, and this is it. There we go. So, so guys, this is what we've been waiting for. This is what Alfred Montaner, I've been wanting to do this video on the 300 uh, uh, for a while, guys. So once, uh, I, think, I think we're already, listen, listen, I'm a pro at this. You take it as hard and as fast as you can. All right. Don't worry about me. If I break my gear, it's all right. <laughs> all right. All right. Lucas already. <laughs> Lucas. Already. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. Let's then. go. Let's go, Captain. Come on. Right. Give it to me. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah. Let's go. This is what we want right here. Wow. Look at that, guys. Let me take you guys towards the bow real quick. We're going about 45. We got to slow down here on the bridge. Wow, this thing is impressive. Very, very impressive. Nice riding boat, guys. I think he's going to turn it for us. He's going to turn it, guys. He's going to turn it. Hold on. Oh, man. I hope my gear, I hope my gimbal can hold on. Woo! Look at this. Wow. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Wow. Wow. Cool, bro. That was... Dude, I'm having fun on this one. <laughs> this has made my day. <laughs> I like this. I, I'm. Listen. I don't hear. I don't hear the engines 
exaggeratedly different compared to anything else. Right. I mean, and that's why when I was back there, I didn't even say anything because I want the people to hear what's coming from my mic. Right, right. So what what, what are we now at a at a good a good cruise right now? What are we look? What are we burning per gallon? One point eight nine, one point nine right now. We're going thirty eight miles an hour. Thirty eight miles an hour. One point eight nine. Almost. Let me show that. We're on thirty seven right now. And by back we're on just the six more. Now you got two. So, so if you wanted to just conserve fuel, if I wanted to run it at a really low, low cruise, I mean, I could get it up above that. Almost three, three to the gallon, and we're going what? Uh, we're on twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Twenty-eight miles. Two point three. Bring that a little more. And we're still nice, planed out. Want to spin it around? Play with the control a little bit. Oh, yeah, let's go on that. Go. That's some pretty cool stuff. All right. Luke, Luke's trying to change it on me. What's going on, Luke? What are we doing now? Wait, what were we doing before that? No, 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 no. I'm just... Oh, no, we're going to spin it around. Now All we're going right. to show you how it yeah. pivots. Okay. Yeah, it pivots on itself. All right. So, for being... so what are we doing? So, so explain to them because I want them to, to know. Because it's an, out, it's an outboard boat. You know, okay. A lot of times, especially with these big center consoles, it's really hard to get them to pivot on their own axis. Okay. So with how much torque these engines have, it actually has the power to do it. We have no bow thruster. No bow thruster on here. I'm just working one forward and one reverse. Complete 360. That's crazy, dude. You're gonna get me dizzy, dude. <laughs> that that is impressive. So Something how else, right? how how? All right. So we just we just planed out like nothing. Yeah. Right, and we felt that torque like immediate. Right off the bat. Um, hit 46. Diesel. Um, what 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 will this uh, K point hold as far as um, fuel? It'll hold, I guess. I think it's 280. 280. It's, two, looks like it's 288. So like so, that, so if somebody wanted to go far distances. Yeah, we're looking at a tremendous amount of range. I mean, um, obviously when the boat's heavier, it's going to take a little bit off the top end on your mm -hmm. fuel economy. You know, just with the weight, but. Um, have you done any testing on, on just one engine? Have you done anything on one, or just one no. alone or no? Just one alone on this boat? Yeah. No. No, no nothing like so, that. So, but, but for instance, if, if a motor went oh, down. So you have one that went down? Yeah, so can we shut one down? Sure. sure. Let's see what happens. This, this, is, this, is, this is real world. You want to show people? Yeah, I want to, yeah. listen, you know right. why? Because they, this is the reality, right, of what happens. All right, right now, um, we Which got. Are we on? Which one are we on We're right on now? The port engine right now. Okay, let me let me go back there because I have one or two haters that want to listen to everything. You want me to see if I can get it to plane off? Yeah, I want to see yeah. what I want to see what it does, because because honestly, this is this is a big boat, and if that thing just gets us enough to get in, think about it. Look, somebody's going to be in a storm. Yeah. Something can happen. You want to know you want to you can make it back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So th these are things. Okay. Oh. You're going all out. You're even bringing her up. All right. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and see what happens. He's going to go. He's turning it. We got some other people doing some sea trials right now. Um, listen, much respect to these guys for doing this because let's see what's going on. If this thing planes out, I'm going to freak out, guys. If this thing planes out, I am going to freak out. Dude, it's... Man, listen. I am... 
this is already exceeding my expectations. Guys, look at this. He's, wor he's working her slowly in. Look, this is already a safe a cruise. Plane. Look, listen. 15 miles an hour. We're going how fast? 15. Okay, so you're you're gonna go fast enough to it's make it home. 1.2 miles to the gallon, <laughs> just on the one end. Listen, this right here is huge. Now bring it down and just do open her up and show, and we can start heading back. Sure. I mean, I think with what we just showed, oh, that's that's huge. And and now now you guys know something. If somebody asks that question, hey, listen, yeah, there you, go. Yeah, <laughs> you you saw it for yourself. It's got a lot of torque. It'll get you in no problem on this size boat on one engine. Incredible, absolutely nuts. You want to go ahead and uh, do a little haul over run over here with some of this side wake and yeah. bust up some waves? Why not? Let this big boy pass us and I don't know. We'll have fun with it, guys. I think the the fun part's gonna happen now. Look at this, guys. Is he gonna give us some, some wake? Is somebody gonna give us some wake? I can make some more. We can, we can, we can. You wanna, you wanna make some waves? I love this. I love this. It's crazy. I'm right now in the back, leaning in the back. Guys, I didn't get one spray of water. My lens didn't get wet. And uh, I am impressed, not just with the Ox 300s, but I'm also impressed with the 34 k horn. Wow, what a beautiful ride. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. And this, this is our demo boat. So this boat is open for demo. So if anyone wants to go for a ride, they just gotta send us an email, info at macmoring.com. If you're up in the New Jersey area, this boat's out of Brielle. We'll take you out for a spin if you'd like to experience the 300 options for yourself. Guys, absolutely outstanding. I wanna thank Luke. Captain, you killed it, bro. Thank you so much. Guys, we're out of here. Out from Monte Annapolis 2022. There we go. The only reason I'm cutting this short, guys, because I'm freezing. I'm freezing. <laughs> I am so cold, you have no idea. Yeah, yeah no, I know, man. No, no, look here, here, here. Hold this here, here. Look, 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 look. I'm, I'm literally, I came over here, I made the mistake, and I'm wearing shorts, dude. So. It's not Florida anymore. Yeah. Listen, I got to go buy a parka. I'm out of here. <laughs>